Hello everyone, welcome to the SQRT channel. In this video, I'm going to solve this exciting problem. Hello everyone, welcome to the SQRT channel. In this video, I'm going to solve an equation that is going to be a challenging one. Let's see how we are going to solve this problem. Here we have 2 plus x over radical 2 plus radical 2 plus x plus 2 minus x over radical 2 minus radical 2 minus x. This is going to be radical 2 and we are going to find x here. Let's see how we are going to solve it now. I'm going to start to simplify what I have here. When you check the equation, you see that we have some common terms. We have this 2 plus x and then another 2 plus x and we also have this 2 minus x and then another 2 minus x. So it's obvious that I'm going to start with using radical 2 plus x equal to a new variable like a and similarly radical 2 minus x as a new variable like b. Now note that because a and b are going to be the answer of two different radicals, they are going to be positive. So I'm going to write that they are greater than or equal to zero. Now let's see how I'm going to proceed from here. So since I'm going to need this two plus x, I'm going to take power of two of both sides. I'm going to end up with two plus x equals to a squared and 2 minus x equals to b squared. Now the next thing that I have is a relationship between this a and b that I have. Obviously the first thing that you can do is put this a squared instead of what I have for denominator here and then this radical 2 plus a plus b squared over radical 2 minus b equals to radical 2. This is my first equation. So let me highlight it like this. To solve this problem, because I have a and b, I need another equation and in normal situation, when you have something like this, when you have plus and minus, it's natural to say that I'm going to end up with adding them. So a squared plus b squared is four. Now I have two equations. How I'm going to proceed with this? Let's write them here. I have a to the power of two plus b to the power of 2 as 4 and I also have the equation that you have here. I will write it as a squared over radical 2 plus a plus b squared over radical 2 minus b equals to radical 2. From here I'm going to do some algebraic modifications. To simplify what I have here, let's do the natural thing. If you remove what I have in the denominators, I will multiply this by this, so it's going to be a squared radical 2 minus a squared b plus b squared times radical 2 plus b squared time a equals to radical 2 times radical 2 plus a times radical 2 minus b. Now things are getting a little bit tricky here. We first need to simplify things. So I'm going to start with simplification. 
I have this a squared radical 2 and a squared radical 2. So a squared and b squared times radical 2. Let's say I have radical 2 times a squared plus b squared. And then I have minus a squared b plus b squared a equals 2. Now let's multiply these things. I will have 2 minus radical 2b plus radical 2a minus ab. And then I need to multiply this radical 2 by everything that I have here. So it's going to be 2 radical 2 minus 2b plus 2a and finally minus radical 2ab. Now let's go back and see what's going on here. First of all, you note that a squared plus b squared is 4. So I will replace that with 4. Next thing that I'm going to do is to simplify things a little bit here. Let's do that as I'm going to do it here. I have 4 times radical 2 minus 2 times radical 2 minus AB times A minus B and then let's move things to the other side uh, and then we are going to have negative 2 a minus b plus radical 2 a b equals 0. Remember when we move this 2 a to the other side it's going to be negative 2 and then for negative 2 b is going to be 2 b so what I have here is going to be correct. Now the first thing is this is 2 radical 2 minus a b times a minus b minus 2a minus b plus radical 2ab equals to 0. Now what you see here is if I factor out from i minus now if I factor out a minus b here I will have a minus b Let's factor out negative 1, 2, and then I will have a, b plus 2. And then from this and this, I'm going to factor out radical 2. So I will have a, b plus 2 equals to 0. And then you see that I have a, b plus 2 times, this is a common factor, and then I will have minus a plus b plus radical 2 equals to 0. Now what we have here is very interesting. Let's focus on this for now. So I have two terms and I multiply them and the answer is 0. Obviously either of them can be 0. Let's focus on the first one. I have a, b plus 2 equals to 0 which basically means that a b is going to be negative and remember I had a and b as positive numbers so this case is not acceptable the only case that is ac acceptable is negative a plus b plus radical 2 is going to be 0 and what does it mean here remember what we have for a and b we defined a as radical 2 plus x and then we define b as radical 2 minus x so let's go back so let's go back and see what we have here i have negative radical x plus 2 plus 
radical x minus 2 plus radical 2 is 0. And now we want to solve this. So the only case that is acceptable is going to be the second one, which basically means that radical 2 plus b minus a is going to be 0. Now, this means that b minus a, or let's say a minus b, is going to be radical 2. Remember what we had before, we had A defined as radical x plus 2 and then B defined as radical 2 minus x. Now I can say that A squared minus B squared is going to be x plus 2 minus 2 plus x which is going to be 2x so what I have here is a squared minus b squared is going to be 2x and then a minus b is going to be radical 2 and basically it means a minus b times a plus b is 2x and then I have this term as radical 2. So a plus b is going to be 2x over radical 2, which is radical 2x. And then a minus b is going to be radical 2 again. Now from these you can verify that a is going to be radical 2x plus radical 2 over 2. If you add them together, you will end up with this. And basically, And basically, we have radical 2 plus x equals to radical 2 times x plus 1 over 2. Now, I'm going to say that this is an easy equation to solve. Let's see how we are going to solve this. I'm going to take power of 2 from both sides. So I will have 2 plus x equals to 2x plus 1 to the power of 2 over 4 which basically means that 2 plus x is going to be x plus 1 to the power of 2 over 2 and then x squared plus 2x plus 2 equals to 4 plus 2x and this means x squared is going to be 2 and then which means that x squared plus 2x plus 1 
is 4 plus 2x and then x squared is going to be 3 and x is going to be radical 3 remember here we are not going to be able to have negative 3 for x the reason is Now, you need to understand that x is not going to be negative. The reason is somewhere from the equations that we have here. Note that a plus b is radical 2x and a and b are positive. So this side is going to be positive, which basically means that minus radical 3 is not an answer. And this is the only answer that we can have. Thanks for watching the video. If you would like to see more puzzles, math involved activities, and problems from different math competitions, please subscribe to this channel. This is the SQRT channel, and I hope to see you in the next video.